What's going on guys? Saga Pleaser coming at you with a new video today. So last video we claimed the Wu Qian, the tablet of ruined Pokemon. And today's video we'll be getting Jian Pao, the uh what is the name of it? Ah uh, crud. Well, I'm forgetting the name, it's like uh oh Sword of Ruin. It's called the Sword of Ruin. And it's an ice and dark type, so yeah. So pretty much that inhabits the uh, southwest area of the region. And uh, I already have my interactive map pulled up in order to hunt for these stakes. The first one is just right outside of Cascarafa. Outside of Cascarafa. So. Let's just fly over here. And then if you noticed, I have a in place of Tinkatown Kuz in the box when I pulled up to check Bujian. You might have saw an Azuril. And that's because uh, pretty much like in the last video, I did state that I did not get the Terra type Charizard. So the next event is happening next week sometime around the 15th. I think it's like 14th to the 17th, something like that. So, yeah, pretty much what I'm planning on doing is getting Azuriel fully, like, from stage one all the way up to, to its uh, final evolved form in order to, uh, in order to, uh, what is it, prepare for that. And I, like, I did a research on it. Uh, where is the stake? Oh, okay. Somewhere down there? Or, like, close by? Because, like I said previously, that the interactive map isn't necessarily accurate, but it's, like, relatively close. And, wow. Yeah, you would miss it, because it's literally right behind the gym. It's pretty much behind a tree that's behind the gym. So that is the first stake. Alright. Ominous... Oh, so they're all ominous black stakes, but they each give off a different hue. Wu Qian gave off a purple hue. Wu Qian stakes gave off a purple hue. Jin Pao stakes give off a yellow hue. All right, next one is just south towards uh, this location here. Just about that location. So, yeah. So in order to evolve my Azuriel, I am pretty much a uh, Waterstone. Uh, right before I head out, I'm just gonna claim some of these Misty Terrain. Hmm. I am uh, pretty much going to uh, try. Yeah, why not? I get the steps in because in order to evolve uh, Azuriel, uh, just quick save. Azuriel, I need to have high friendship, and then it's like first stage evolution just needs to get to up to level 18. So I hope it counts me getting Coridon steps in because I have it. I caught it a female type, which will give you the fairy terror typing. So which will be good against uh, against uh, the unrivaled Charizard, which is a dragon terror type. I just have to get like super, give it, get it to a super high level, which I don't mind because grinding honestly just lets you interact with new stuff. So yeah, so I mean, I literally, I usually don't do much with like uh, trying to get Pokemon with high friendship just because like if it's not through XP grinding then it's like kind of a lot more difficult per se because like you just gotta know it or like look it up and con if you are trying if it's specific you're gonna want to try and keep track because uh oh is that the stake I'm looking for or is that a different stake I don't know well, whatever, I'll come back to that stake. Because I'm going in the order of the map. But you guys don't have to. Or...
think that is the stake I'm looking for. Yeah. I mean, it is near this. Yeah, this is the stake. I just ran past it. Wow. That, I should have just snagged the stake while I had it. All right. Yes, take it. Because, I mean, to get friendship, pretty much feed it certain berries to reduce its EV. EV. Um, another is to battle Pokemon. I want to see what this wild terror Pokemon is. Oh, it's a Tinkatuff. Why not? Let's take it on. I won't catch it. I'll beat it, but I won't catch it. Because it will be some good XP. Dark type. Hmm. Alright. Yeah. Because, I mean, these wild terror type Pokemon are scattered about, so... I mean, you just got... You can look up a map. The interactive map I left in the description. Like, yeah, pretty much the website itself has multiple resources in order for you to use... In order to see where Pokemon are. I mean, it literally has a giant map full of the stake locations. Full of stake locations. Trainer locations. Charm. What does Charm do again? Stake locations. Trainer locations. Heck yeah. Get rid of Splash. Uh, pretty much gives you... And even like tower locations. Slam. In the Azuril, no. Got massive leveling here. Oh, sweet. It's leveling up. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I get... Because I thought, like, it had to win battles. I didn't know it could just gain XP. Sweet. Meryl. All right. Yep. Because when you catch Azuril, it'll pretty much be a nor it's normal and fairy type. So, pretty much with that, you can either try and catch a... Oops, zoom in. It's like right over here. Right up against the wall. Uh, pretty much like you could either hunt for an Azumurio. But I'm just going to gonna do it this way because I kind of also get the Pokedex completed. And it also gives me like new ways in terms of like how pokemon evolve because i know riolu does evolve with high friendship as well so i mean there is that all right just glide on over oh i passed it it's literally in a cor tiny corner right here very hidden all right, and this is stake number three. All right. Okay, next one with this map is right over here. So I'm just gonna fly over because I no longer need to level up with friendship. It's just, at this point, level up with levels. Because, I mean, I pretty much caught this earlier today. Like, right when I woke up. When I saw an article on Google about how to... How to pretty much... What's the best for the Charizard Terror... Unrivaled Charizard? So, yeah... Oh, okay, this is where we got uh, the Stork Titan. This is the, pretty much the Flying Titan that we caught. It's pretty much like head up here, and this is where it was. Hmm. And the stake is like right near here. Anything doing off of you? Now, this is pretty much when gliding comes in handy because you slowly can traverse the entire area here until it has you plummet at a very fast speed i said it once and i'll say it again i hate the gliding mechanic here it's worse than peace between braviaries 
But at least there is a gliding mechanic here. Oh. Come on. Up. Ah, there it is. Okay. I thought it was a sinkhole, but no. Or, I thought this was just like... Yeah, okay. I mean... Ooh, gimme gold. I do need to get... Ooh, three. Wait. Before I get the steak, I want to see how many gimme gold coins do I have. Because, uh... Literally, you need nine... Pretty much 999 in order to evolve a gimme ghoul. Uh, where would they be? Nope, 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 nope. It's not here. Nope, nope. Oh, here. Gimme ghoul cool coins, 188. Wow, I'm almost two ninths done. I mean, Gimme Ghoul is a very power, like, uh, Gimme Ghoul's evolution is very good. Because, I mean, one of its moves literally gives you money as you when you use it. But it's like, you real, it's like a side quest. This is a side quest, not part of the main quest. So, I mean, you could do it before, during, uh, or during your journey through Paldea, if you want it a part of your team, or if you want to, uh, or if you want to just like, uh, what is it? Uh, <clears throat> if you want to just catch it, because if you beat a Gimme Ghoul in its chest form, it'll give you a good bit amount of the Gimme Ghoul coins. The wand, the roaming gimme ghouls those give you what i've heard like it'll be most commonly less than like around one or so or like one or more like it can't go less than one but it could give you upwards to even like 200 so i mean oh you've got to be kidding me i hate when that happens electro ball okay so, traverse towards this way. There it is. Come on. Just get close. And up. Yes. What's a young goose doing up here? And that, this is steak number five. Ominous black steak. Take it. Yes. Okay, now to stick number seven, which is right along here, like this in between your trip all the way to try and get to Alfernada and here. Yep. Ooh, wait, what's this? I know this is somewhat me sidetracking a bit, but it's like electric terrain. That's good for kill a watch roll. But I'm not running an electric type team, so yeah. All right. I'm just gonna traverse the mountain. I'm not even bother going in. Okay, so the stakes somewhere around here. So I can tell for sure it's not right here. So it's like a uh, hoverfall. So the map's on me somewhere along here. That's a Pokeball. Wait. Oh no, that's a Yongoose. It'd be slightly down here? No? Okay. I climb up. Just climb back up and see where it may be. Mm. 
not right here. <laughs> yeah, like I said, the interactive map <clears throat> won't be fully accurate, but it's like relatively close that it can be right on top of it and that's a young goose man young gooses are look very close uh, maybe over here a bit I don't know where where the heck is the stake it's not towards that direction Is that just a Pokemon Center? Or is that... That's a Pokemon Center, I think. Uh, traverse High. Okay, so I got a full view of this area here. Uh, hmm. Give me one sec. Just gonna do a little scroll down. Stake number five. Okay, so with how the interactive map is, it's like pretty much in this direction of sorts. Okay, I can tell it's not behind the tree, but okay, where is this? Hmm. Trying to find where my interactive map lines up with the map on here. Oh, what the heck? Because that is stake five, which we got. Stake six. Oop, that's what you in sixth bake. Is in the cave. Holy cow. It's in that freaking cave. I thought it wasn't in there, but it was. Climb. Holy cow. I mean, I was right in saying that the map isn't fully there. But it's like, it has the stake right in uh Did I just pass it? No. Okay. So it has the stake right in front, like, along where I placed the marker, but... Not where, uh, so it's like somewhere in this cave, if I, from what I saw. Let me just double check. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Yeah, these stake locations can be very annoying. Okay, I think I might know where it is. So, hop up. What is that, Houndoom? Yeah, that's the Houndoom. Yeah, and this is also pretty much a way to get to Alfernada. You don't need any of the ride abilities to get up here, get through. But I mean, it's like, they make traversing this whole cave useful. Just kind of follow the torches. And you'll be good. Because, I mean, heck, I went to Alfernada Town when me and my friend Aaron, we linked, like, Got into the cart linking, the game link. Yeah, you're pretty much like right underneath the town itself. So, wait, what? Or is it? You've got to be kidding me. Is it like the cave system near here? Alright. You've got to be kidding me. There's also like another cave system. Well, I mean, to get to the spot, there's cave systems all along here. Yep, right here. 
So like pretty much you need to get to this cave right here in order to get to Alfernada to the entrance to Alfernada. Yeah, Alfernada Cavern. Is it this? Nope. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Salazzle. Where the heck is this thing? Battle. Shadow Ball. Wait. Will o Wisp. Wait, now I know. Now I know why. Zoom out. I know why it was like marked here. Or wait. This interactive map is showing me. Pray tell where it might be lay. Uh, where are you? Hmm. So, I mean, pretty much when you're underground, all you can see is, like, what is directly above you. You won't be able to see what's underneath. So, I'm pretty much kind of using the map and what's above in order to help. Okay. So, I mean, pretty much my interactive map shows me here, but it's, like, around here. Around here sorts underground though so I mean that's kind of what I'm gonna try to get to oh come on and also this Kate Alfernada cavern it is very annoying because there are a lot of Pokemon and they are very small as you can see with this landite they're very small so you gotta watch your steps at in terms of where you traverse bounce now Oh, is that the top of a cape? Oh, come on. Okay, forget it. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the cavern, literally we're right underneath the very town itself. This cavern's massive. That's just how it is. Where the heck is the stake? You know what? I'm just gonna fly outside. Because I've seen this stake before, but I just cannot remember where. And this is the sixth stake. Jeez. Why is it. These stakes should not be hard to claim, so to speak. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Gotta go in a north direction. Ooh, that's a lichen rock. Uh, keep going. I mean, geez, this the stakes are variously well placed because this one's in the cave system so it's difficult just to come across but it's like at an entrance or an exit of the cave itself so I mean you just kind of gotta pop into the caves and see if you could because I mean the one I see is like an exit so maybe it's just pop in here And, uh, just, I'm just going to enter the cave from here and see if it'll pop up. Oops. 
Is this Pokeball? No, it's not here. Holy crap. Yeah, I know. Not here. Alright, just give me one moment, guys. I'll be right back.
Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Uh, I'm so dumb. Sorry, guys. I literally did not realize my mic was off. <laughs> oh, crud. Oh, crud. Oh, my gosh. I apologize. Oh, my God. I didn't even realize it because I muted it to check stuff. In between finding the... When I was trying to find the cave for the sixth state using some resources I got, I did not... I muted it. I did not realize it. Realizing. Oh, crud. Okay. Let me just... Uh, options. Just make sure autosave is off. Save. Oh, crud. Oh, my God. 16 minutes of me of dead me talking but it's dead air oh my god i apologize yes i will touch this shrine Ooh. oh my gosh if you're wondering why i was getting that dolce on it's because it's an evolution why not all right. All right. Okay, Shadow Ball. Because as you saw before, the flamethrower base is times two. Okay. Ah, it was a crit. Okay, switch to uh. Uh, okay. Kill a Watchful? What do flying- Okay, flying types do normal damage. Flying and electric, okay. That's fine. Nice cool crash, but- Oh, right. Super effective against flying types. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Black Caliber? I'll terrestrialize you so you're an ice type, and then it's just like, I could kind of- Stalemate this a bit. Terastalize. Oh, before that, let me just uh, get that prepared. Terastalize and uh, Ice Fang. So that I don't pretty much. Uh... Defeated so quickly. Oh. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Um, okay. Just doing some, uh, trying to get it in one save file and not trying to, uh, uh, have to do anything. Like, take on an Elite Four challenge or whatnot again. So, yeah, that's why I turned autosave off. And, and I just do manual saving for these guys. <laughs> uh, I have... A, I honestly have a good type matchup against Qian Pao, I guess. I mean, like, I got two fire types, for sure. But it's like... Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I'm not gonna... I already saved, so... Yeah. All right, faint sound, touch the shrine. Yes, I will for the third time. All right. Hmm. All right. Battle the Shadow Ball. I was able to get half because it was a crit, but let's see. Okay. Okay. Shadow Ball again. Sacred Sword. Doesn't affect Skeleturge. We know that already. Okay, okay, okay. Ultra Ball? Ah, 
Okay, now I just spam Ultra Balls. I just spam Ultra Balls at this point. Just spam Ultra Balls. One, two. Come on! Come on! You need to be caught. Ultra Ball. Because I don't have any moves that will give it paralysis or anything. So I'm just like... Yeah. High school crash. Ooh, okay. I got plenty of Ultra Balls, GNU. Or Chien Pao, sorry. Ultra Ball. Got plenty of Ultra Balls to use. I don't care how many I have to go through. Okay, another one. Come on, come on! I'm catching you in an Ultra Ball. I don't care, it's gonna be an Ultra Ball. All these, these four legendaries are getting caught in Ultra Balls. Come on, two shakes, two shakes, and then one more and it's done. Come on. Two shakes. That's as high as we've gotten. And then it's it's like two shakes, no shake, one shake, pop out. Okay. Another go. Ah. One, two. Come on. High school crash. Yeah. Not very effective. Because literally this is the closest I've gotten to getting him, like, without defeating him, per se. Uh, Garganical. Yeah, okay. One. Come on! It appeared to be caught. No, it didn't. Can I please get... Oh, wow. That did a lot. Okay. I mean, at least I'm making it use up moves. I don't know how many times it could use said moves, but it's like, but still, I can be here all day. I got nowhere else to be. Come on. Ooh. Come on. Come on! Mm. I mean, I already got it in, so... Charm doesn't do anything. I mean, I could do Charm, uh, Sacred Sword. Yep. Oh, wow. Wow. Touch it out so you wouldn't feel sad. Thank you. Aww. Okay, lower the attack harshly. And then... Screw it, save a Muriel. Oh my god. Tough to out so I wouldn't be sad. That's what happens when you raise friendship. Ha! Ah. Oh my god. Ruination. Ooh. All right, Ultra Ball. At least I weak lowered its attack stat. So yeah, one, two, three. Yes! Haha! <laughs> I got you in pow. Oh my gosh. Play rough. Yes. Hmm. Water gun is less than Bubble Beam. Wow. All right, water gun's gone. And ta-da! All right. Hooey. All right, this Pokemon can control 100 tons of fallen snow. It plays around innocently by leaping in and out of avalanches it has caused. Send to the box. 
Wow, okay. Jian Pao. Alright. So, let us head over, heal everyone, and check them out. Wait. That's a... That was honestly kind of stressful for me, a bit. Heal. Alright, everyone's healed. Uh, just save immediately so it's everything is clear box all right let us see Jian Pao oh right uh, about when I said uh, when my mech was muted I showed you guys this this is my box of like Pokemon that ha have that I caught except the Pikachu inter that are that terrestrialize in the wild or like possess a terror type or like I had to call it after I beat their terror typing. But yeah, I mean I may switch it so that's like so this box is just like unique terror types. I mean I got a normal Mimikyu, Grass Mimikyu, Bug Mimikyu, a Dragon Squavit. I did get a Ditto, a flying Ditto. But yeah, pretty much majority of these guys were caught in a, a fire fletchling. Which you'll never see it unless you go into a terror raid battle. But uh, yeah, pretty much that'll do it for today's video, guys. And then also, that's my friend Aaron's armor rogue. I forgot that I got it, got it uh, evolved this morning, but forgot to put it back in the box and switch it for my armor rogue. But yeah, that'll do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry about that, like 16 minute dead air. But this is Saga Plays, signing off. Bye.